Hello guys from headquarters in Seward, Alaska. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the vlog. Today's video is starting off at the Arctic Circle sign on the Dempster Highway as we make our way to the shores of the Arctic Ocean in Tuktoyuktuk. Uh, the weather, it was rough. It is windy, rainy, and muddy. All of which make for very difficult filming conditions, but it actually turned out to be a pretty amazing day. But that mud stuck around. All right. Uh, you get to meet up with our friends Jason and Kara of the YouTube channel Everlanders. Good people. Make sure you subscribe to their content. Uh, but they were broken down on experiencing like diesel fuel issues on the highway when we came across them. And I'm just going to say, Jason, I'm taking credit for fixing your rig. You were there for eight hours and we show up and within 20 minutes you're back on the road. Hate to say it, buddy, but that's the way it is. Uh, for the rest of you who do not know what I'm talking about, here's the video and enjoy the ride up the dumpster. We are coming up on the Peel River Ferry. You can see it right out there in the distance. And we're about eight miles south of Fort McPherson. Strangely enough, have gotten a blip of five bars of LTE service <laughs> and been able to text and check in at home. Everything's going well and Shelby's doing great. I got to see some pictures of her, so that makes us feel better and sick I got to say hi. So in case you're wondering, the ferries are open every day from 9.30 a.m. until 12.45 a.m. and they run from June until mid-October. The rest of the year you cross these rivers by ice bridge. If you're planning a trip up here there's also a couple months of uh, spring and a couple months of fall where you just cannot get past here uh, because of the ice flowing and not being completely frozen. So in terms of the north country there's a freeze up and break up okay it's our turn they are directing me towards the right side here and i really can't tell what's port to starboard on this ferry uh, but yeah i always get a kick out of uh driving onto ferries and applaud canada because these are all free over here Unlike the ferries over in the Maritimes, which uh, cost money. Okay, overlanding turns into overwatering. The view's not too hot out your window. No, it's really not. <laughs> Can't see much of anything at all at some point. Maybe it'll rain on my side of the car pretty soon. <laughs> These cables are quite fascinating. I'm not an expert on ferries, despite being a uh, 50 ton licensed captain, but they seem to have these cables on uh, each side of the ferry, keeping it in a straight line going across the river. Huh, I wonder if there's like winch systems or uh, what it's all about. I get it, just fascinated by it. I feel like I'm moving but the truck's not in drive. It's an odd sensation. It's it like, I want to hit the dude. I know like parking brake is still on, but the sensation of moving, but yeah, yeah. All right, and here we go. Back to the mud. journey has brought us to the Mackenzie River and our second ferry of the day, third ferry of the journey, and this is a lot 
bigger than the river. Definitely a massive watershed. Denny's gonna get lazy if we keep taking the ferries. <laughs> well, until this truck gets floats, this is the way we do it. <laughs> okay, we got the signal. Never just barge right onto the ferry. That side, okay. Alrighty. I don't know what it is. Like, I seriously get a feeling of vertigo. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Vertigo? Is that the right medical word? With just the oddity of all the movements and yet being behind the wheel of the truck. Yeah, no. Clean is relative. Yeah. Well, we interrupt this vlog because some of our uh, fellow, I don't know, social media YouTuber type folk are on the uh, Dempster here and broke down. Hello. Hi, yes. Kara. <laughs> Hi. And this, Jason's under the truck. Jason's yep. under the truck, yeah. This is their uh, expedition rig. Seen it in the video, but have yet to uh, see it up close. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. There's Jason. How you doing? You got a fuel problem. Yeah, I thought it was a fuel pump, but it's not. All right. So, checking the next thing. How long were you guys uh, sitting here? How long has this been going on? 10 a.m. Well, that's a long day, guys. Wow. 10 a.m. Well, I don't know. I don't know how long that ferry took. 20 minutes, half hour. Yeah. Anyway. It, was, it was before noon. Yeah. 10.30, <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are going to uh, stick around to see if you need any uh, parts or if there's any assistance we can provide. Don't think I can tow this beast all the way to uh, Inuvik, <laughs> but no. can definitely help out in some way. All right, well, it's time to put the uh, camera away, but I don't think we've shown this to you yet today. The old truck is definitely getting a serious caking of mud, but the real funny part is this side not so bad at all but there is mud everywhere down there i think we just needed to come stand next to their truck because well, like 10 minutes and things started up <laughs> but no it's brainstorming <laughs> seriously jason and i were able to talk things out and we you know back pressure the line and maybe a blue booger out but either way the fuel system is Got, they have dirty fuel. Oh, and it's filthy. It's it doesn't even look like diesel. The concerning part is that we, we got fuel at the, same, at place. the same place one day later. later. So we might actually have a little time bomb sitting in this fuel tank. And obviously, before I pull this cap off again, this is getting cleaned up all nice. But yeah, fuel, diesels. All right, well, the truck is running and uh, they're packing things up. The fuel is dirty, but hey, you're in luck. So far, so good. Yep. This has happened once before, and we made it up the hill. We're here. We'll help. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to put the camera down on the uh, bag of dirty diesel. Diesel should not look like that. Cool. Look at all that black soot coming out the back. Ooh, it's muddy still. Yeah, it is. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Well, they made it up the hill. That's the first start. 
So we have about 45 miles to uh, Inuvik and Jason's truck still has a problem. Yeah, there is dirty fuel in that tank and I believe he might have uh, used his last fuel filter. So it's kind of like another little ticking time bomb as that fuel filter gets dirty, that's obviously gonna cause drivability issues in a matter of time. But the key will be seeing if we can uh, make it to Anubik. And also, hopefully we don't have dirty fuel. But once I get that all uh, cleaned up, I'm gonna shine a flashlight in there and confirm uh, our fuel situation. I think it's probably time for our daily road report and weather report. Uh, we woke up to a lot of rain today and it rained until mid-afternoon. Um, which means that we had very muddy roads, a little bit of slippage going up hills, but nothing that ever required 4x4 four four or anything like outrageously concerning. Uh, the tires have been doing fabulously. The truck is performing, knock on wood. Right there. Knock on wood. The truck is performing wonderfully. Um, and more than anything, it's just been a really beautiful drive. We've been driving through tundra and taiga forest. Um, and it is definitely fall up here. So we're seeing the changing of the leaves and the fireweed is almost all gone to seed, if not all of it. Um, and so it's a really beautiful pinkish maroon color. Um, and this evening, the skies have cleared up and there's a little bit of sunshine and scattered clouds about. So really, aside from the mud, which has been pretty intense and covers everything, just forewarning. Like if you have dogs that sit on the seats, you should probably cover your seats. Make sure you take your shoes off before you walk into your rig because I made that mistake and got one of our rugs all muddy. Because um, it is like really sticky, silty, fine mud. But, overall, really nice day. And uh, what do you think our average speed has been on the roads today, babe? Uh, during the slippery sections, about 20 miles an hour. And, uh, you know, like right now we're cruising around 40. And we could go faster, but the, there is a little bit of mud still on the road. So, we're just cruising the speed that feels right. I would say it's definitely not a road that you should plan on driving quickly. Um, plan on being able to take your time, allow a significant amount of time to get up here and back um, because these are not highway miles. These are dirt gravel road miles. Yeah, these also are very similar to Baja miles. That's because, what I was just going to say. Yeah, we are getting wicked. Another bunny car. rabbit. Like, we have 186 miles on this tank and we're at two thirds of a tank. So we've we're probably getting 15 miles a gallon, but then again, fifth gear, 40 miles an hour, 1500 RPMs. So the engine's not working really hard. And as far as wildlife, we were just discussing this. We anticipated seeing far more than we have. Um, so we have seen several fox. Today we started seeing bunny rabbits, probably hare. And then um, I've dodged a couple of squirrels on the road. <laughs> but no caribou, no grizzlies, no big game animals yet. So we're still keeping our eye out. All right, we're calling it a night. We're here at the, uh, I don't know, government campground in Inuvik. The campground was really nice and allowed me to pull up to their dump station so I could hose this area off uh, to make sure we don't introduce anything new that might not be in there already. I need to cut in here really quick, guys. The uh, exact cause of what happened on uh, Jason and Kara's fuel system is still unknown. Uh, we're not in the business of bashing places. Uh, the Eagle Plains fuel stop was very friendly. Uh, we did not have problems. Uh, you know, we did not see fellow travelers up the highway because I guarantee that almost everybody is stopping there for fuel. So we didn't see anybody else with problems. So just want to let you know, this is a fuel issue that happens when you're traveling. And I'm sure Jason and Kara are going to get to the bottom of it. And you'll probably just have to check out their channel. But as of now, two weeks ago, they still haven't figured it out. But the truck is running just fine. Oh, gosh. 
It is uh, about quarter to 11 local time and we are done for now, but we are gonna go grab a bite to eat with these guys. Uh, I did hose off nice. our fuel tank area, so in the morning we'll check it oh, out. But suspense. I am not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with that thing tonight. No. Too low. <laughs> All right, this video is a wrap. Thanks for riding along with us today. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the road.